Po'boy Special here. We are at Scotty's Gunworks, our favorite gunsmith. And what are we going to have you look at today, or what's Scotty got in store for you today? Well, Scotty's got the blues. That's right. He's going to show you some bluing techniques and some things that he does with bluing. So let's go at it. All right. And here's Scotty. Hey, Scotty, how's it going tonight, buddy? Pretty good. Yeah, you're kind of busy tonight, aren't you? Yeah, I kind of got my safety gear on here, you know, for bluing. And they're bluing some guns tonight. Uh, you know, you got to have your safety equipment on, safety first around here. I heard that. What are you going to be bluing? Well, we've got a bunch of guns in here bluing. We're in the process of doing it right now. Uh, we polish them all down, you know, and get all the bad places out of them, you know, make them look like a brand new gun. Yeah, and you've shown us that before in one I of the previous have, videos. One of the previous videos yeah. we have. Uh, well, tonight we're bluing some of them guns. Uh, I can take you in there and kind of give you a little bit of a tour of what's going on, you know, while, while we're in the process of doing it. Hey folks, so we've already done the cleaning solution, so the rust preventative has already been removed, and that was in this tank right here. And what Scotty's going to do, I'm sorry about the fans, but it's really hot in here. Without those, we just die of heat, heat exhaustion. Scotty, what's going to happen here? What's this step? Well, this right here is the cleaning solution. This is taking the rust preventative off. Uh, we're now ready to take it out of this tank and put it in a rinse tank, and then we'll go from the rinse tank into the balloon. Solution. So the rust preventative comes, uh, it's coming out of the rust preventative right now. So right, our guns are all polished up, rust preventative all off of it. All right. This little tank right here. And folks, just to let you know, there's the fans, and here's the reason why. Look at that. Okay, I'll get all these right here out of here, and then I'll take this right here into the oil tank. This right here is a finished product. Okay, so that's the finished product. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's like a factory to put on. And so this is the oil solution? Yes. All right. The air will come out of this right here. So that's really hot, so he's using these tongs to pull it out of it. Exactly. Let's get this thing focused because it's not going to focus real good for me tonight. Sorry about that, folks. I'll do what I can to make sure that it stays focused. I'll make sure we get all that uh, solution off of it. All right, it goes so right down here. And that's the that's the acid that actually does the blacking or the bluing, right? Yes. All right. And there we go, folks. As you can see, it's really hot. He's got the fire going on this one, folks. That's all it is to it. So how how long does it sit in that solution? Sits in there for thirty minutes. For thirty minutes. Yes. Thirty minutes in there. Solution, you know, into the rinse tank, and then back out of the rinse tank into the hot tank here, uh, hot water boiling tank. And what that does, that boils all the blue in it, might be left inside the pores. Gotcha, gotcha. You know, and then we're you know, bleed. Want to make sure the acids right, like totally gone. Bleed out tank basically is what it is, and it goes out of here into our oil there. And all right. That oil there for probably about uh, no, 15, 20 minutes. So it stays in here for 15 to 20 minutes. It doesn't hurt to leave it in there for an hour. Knowing you, Scotty, you do leave it in there for about an hour. All right. Let me uh, not knock him into those tanks. That would be bad. We got to make sure we keep it around 300 degrees. Three, three, 300 degrees. Thank you. There's our temperature. All right, so that's how he keeps the temperature. And folks, let me just tell you, as I'm holding that over there, that's hot. That's very hot. Do not try this at home. No, this isn't a home thing. This is why we bring it to Scotty. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Over here on our oil rack, we've got some finished products over here. What we do is we come out of the oil here and we put them up on these racks right here where it can just drain off back into the tank. Uh, it's envir environmentally you know, friendly. We make sure that everything stays where it needs to be. But anyway, we've got uh, some finished products here. Here's a, uh, a pump Winchester. So that's, that's a pump Winchester, right? Yes, sir, it is. Uh, wow. 22 rifle. You've still got the oil on it and everything. You know, of course, when we get all that oil and everything off of it, we'll put it back together and it'll be like a brand new gun. <laughs> We've, We've already gone all, through this before. Yeah, we get all the bad places out of it, as I've explained before. Uh, so we've got all the things. There's a Remington 1100 right here. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, wow. Kind of give you an idea of what it looks like, you know. Still got oil on it. Of course, we'll wipe it all off, you know, and all that, and put it back together, and it'll be just like it was when it was new. 
That looks like a high polish. Was that a high polish finish? It is a high polish. Very nice. Yeah, that's our high polish. That'd be our standard finish right there. Uh, you know, we got some matte finishes. Here's a uh, 336 Marlin back here. I don't know if y'all tell too much about it, but uh, here's the bottom. See, we re -de blast all this right here, and then we, you know, blew the sides of it and everything. You know, just like it was factory. Sure. All right. I'm just gonna game to make it look like it did when it was brand new, you know, using the same stuff the factory put on. Well, that is really, really interesting. So again, you know, it goes from the, the from the uh, with the oil preservative, it comes over here, and it goes into this tank right here, correct? Yes, sir. That tank, and then from that tank, it goes directly into that tank. Into the bluing tank. Into yeah. the bluing tank. Yeah, you know the cleaning solution. And then in the rinse tank, from the rinse tank to the bluing, then out of the bluing, and okay. the rinse tank, and then the rinse tank. So tank here right. to here to here, back to here, right? Oh, back to here. Back to here. Well, actually, actually. back to there. Back to and here. Back to here. <laughs> you know, you got to kind of keep it all straight in your head. Who, you who's know? on first? What's on second? I don't know who's on third. <laughs> Let me grab these gloves. Back. And folks, I promise nobody's been drinking. <laughs> Is that? Gonna stay in there for a little bit longer? It will. It will stay in there probably for about another uh, 25 minutes. Another 25 minutes. All right. I can show you right quick. I can pull them up right quick and show you. The oh yeah, please do. Kind of see if it's done turned. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna show us real quick what what it looks like. Here's some uh, pistols. Let's see if they've been turned black. All right. Yeah, you can see how they are changing. Oh yeah, they're changing all right. And we don't want to leave them out of there too long because it, a bluing solution is spotted if it dries. Yeah, we don't so, want to do that. Okay. Anyway, I just kind of want to give everybody a, a look at what it looks like, you know. So, all right. And then that right there, of course, we got this one right here, you know, which is a trigger guard from a mouth, and you can see how it's been turned black. It sure has. Uh, so, anyway. All right. And that's how it's done. And you saw it here on Scotty's Po'boy Special Gun Workshop. Scotty, thank you. Scotty Cox from Scotty Gun Scotty's Gun Works. Thank you, buddy. Thank you.